Virgos, there was a time where, like, well, it's still a time where money has always been an issue, of course, for everyone. Now, um, there's two parts to this uh, reading where, because as a mystic, I teach other things besides tarot. And at the end of the video, I share a little secret on uh, how to attract maybe like cash flow a little bit here and there to improve your finances so that, you know, you can pay your bills. It has helped me. So I'm just sharing a little secret at the end. So first is the tarot and then is the reading. Oh, no, it's not. It's first is the tarot and then the secret. <laughs> I had a moment there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So here's a reading now. Things are getting complicated. They are making it complicated. And as a Virgo, you like complicated. Because <laughs> I can solve it. I know I can fix this. I just have to. Like, you know, like I'm a devoted partner. I, I like to do things my way, of course. And sometimes my person do contradict. That's a five of wands. It's a struggle to manage your relationship. And you're basically... Um, Virgo, what you're doing here is... You don't give up easy. Because for you, it's like... No, I just have to be consistent. I will do this, I will do this, I will do this, and then everything's going to be fine. So you like to solve problems. You know, you like to be there for your person. So you're very helpful with the Five of Wands. I mean, that's good, you know. Um, having the Five of Wands is like, there's always different sides of the story. That's why there's four corners. But you're always trying to identify, no, no, no. We're just going to talk about this part of the problem that's what they brought to you and then we're gonna fix this and then afterwards we're gonna fix the other one and then the other one so you're that kind you're the go-to okay okay um, it's fine to solve someone's problem but the thing is with your person it's like i don't even see it as a problem i feel like they create this because it's a lie you have a seven of swords over here they would create a scenario, well, that way it would cause some sort of delay or a setback in this relationship. So you're being played here. Like, there's no drama, there's no issue, but they'll create it. And that way, you know, certain things in this relationship will not be discussed. So it's like a distraction, you know, like they know how you operate. Like, you know, like give a Virgo a problem to solve, then they're going to forget about the real issue. Because you're there. The Seven of Swords is deflecting. Your person is good at deflecting what the real problem is. Okay. Meaning, if Five of Wands came from a Four of Wands, which means stability of the relationship, that was the problem. Your person will bring in to the relationship a different story so that you will not discuss about it. Uh, so what are they going to do? They're going to tell you okay, some absurd reason. The reason why they can't commit to you. Okay. And what are those? You know I'm not ready, right? You know how much I love you, but it's just right now. I cannot do this. I can't do that. So excuses, excuses. Next thing you know, they're going to tell you that's like, you know how difficult it is at work right now, to be honest? Once you hear the word, to be honest, that's not honest. <laughs> because it means that, so other things was not honest, because you have to say like, this is honest, you know? So they're going to tell you, it's like, okay, um, this is what I'm facing right now. And I didn't want to tell you really. Because um, when you say those phrase, it's actually an escape route. So that way, it diverts your attention again about the stability, security of the relationship. So now you will try to solve other things for them. Five of Wands with the Seven of Swords, they got, they got their way. This is escapism. They don't want to address... The relationship, they'll escape it with some other thing. Swords. It's a thought. It's a communication. They do this every time. Uh -huh. Three of Pentacles, because they know and they're aware that on your end, you like to solve. You like to repair. Give a Virgo a problem, they'll solve it. And then you're going to be that supportive person. It's like, okay, I understand you. Three of Pentacles, I'm here for you. Don't worry. Right? It's what you're saying, not your person. 
then you find yourself stuck. Like, hold on, hold on. Like, one second, because what happened here? Like, I'm stuck. The issue has not been resolved. We didn't even discuss it. Okay. So your person has a, has a gift of gab where they talk, they yap. Mm -hmm. And you have no choice. You got a temperance. Now it becomes basically up to you. I mean, it's like, well, you know, I did say that I'm going to be patient. I did say this. I did promise that to get the hangman. So you're considering, it's like, you know what, then it is what it is. I'm not here to create any drama. Um, temperance with the hangman. You look at it in different perspective. Um, meaning it's like, okay, then it's fine. If, uh, if we have a problem again, I'll discuss it. But for right now, you just want to be patient. You just want to, um, how to say, accommodate. You want to accommodate to the situation. Mm-hmm. Temperance is Sag, you got Pisces also here. Um, but by the end of the day, you're finding yourself more upset. Okay. Okay. So you're finding yourself more upset here. You know, it's just like it's such a Debbie Downer where it's like you can't be with your person. Okay. Because they say also they claim it's just like they're busy. They got other things, it's their focus. Now the Five of Cups here is showing. Like, they do try their best, okay? And this is what their best is, okay? And they're trying to be honest with you. This is what you will hear from them, okay? And it gives you, of course, a sense of, like, comfort at least. Well, you know, they're 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 really trying their effort. I mean, they're putting effort here. Got a Five of Cups and the Four of Swords, you know? And that's why you're just waiting for your soulmate here. So you're waiting for action. You're waiting for them to make that commitment. You're waiting for them to make that move, Okay? Now, as the days progress, you're starting to feel, which we don't like this kind of combination. You're starting to feel that there are some sort of secrets behind that Seven of Swords. Okay, I'll tell you. So you have a hunch. Okay, because there's a Three of Cups here and the Five of Cups. Sorry, there's a Four of Cups over here. Okay, and then there's one cup there that you're holding on to. Sorry, you're holding on to this love. You're holding on to this connection. You value this connection, Four of Swords. When this card comes together, Queen of Wands and an Empress, only means that there is a side piece. That there is someone else involved here. You try to overlook this. It's like, no, it's not impossible. I don't think so. You know, they're, they're, They told me that they're being honest with me. Have they, have they been honest? Okay. I feel like what you're doing is you got a Ten of Pentacles here. You're suffering underneath. You, Your person is this. Entertaining, entertaining, entertaining. You're not being entertained anymore. You're more of like a, a slave to the, without uh, lack of a better term there, like you're, you're slaving yourself for this relationship. You're committed, but it's one-sided. Yep. And what do you get? The breadcrumbs, right? Well, they show effort, right? You know, um, and sometimes you're even satisfied already that, you know, oh, they text, oh, they call. I mean, like we did have a dinner, you know, we cuddled, we spent time, you know, a little bit here and there. But now you're saying it's like, so is this, is this what I'm getting from this? Okay. So you're basically sacrificing, giving a lot, okay? To this person, I feel like you're the empress, and there's someone getting involved there, which is the queen of wands. Mm -hmm. Find out more, link in the description box below. Let's continue this reading. Welcome to another episode of Consult the Mystic. My name is Sal. Let's go to the question today. How do you attract more wealth? I'm going to take it as wealth because there's a lot of kinds of wealth, but if we are trying to attract Good fortune, uh, that's a good question. So if you're trying to attract um, good fortune in your home, um, one thing that we have to understand first before we go for what I would suggest is our house has energy. And I've explained it in the previous video where you would need like, you know, like for example, a certain tool that removes certain negative energy. So given that your house, you've done your cleanse, you've done your protection, um, you know, uh, we call it the essential home kit because it's a protection. You got the selenite and the 
determine it. Given that, if you already have that, or you have already have your own protection going on in your home, which is good. Um, next is like now you can attract. So first we remove, we cleanse, because you can't just attra trying to attract things right away. No, no, no. It comes with cleansing the home. That's one in particular. Removing the negative energy, blocking it. Mm. Now, going to your question, the northwest part of our house. So you come into your house, right? I would recommend, of course, using the sun as a reference for this. Not the magnetic compass, which is your phone, uh, but of course, you don't have a sundial. I have a sundial outside here, which I would really see the, uh, um, the sun rising from the east. Okay, because that's what I want. That's what how I use. I use the sun as a reference. I'm I'm traditional like that, um, or call me a mystic for that. So now, if you if you understand where the east, where the sun rises, then it's easy for us to find the north. Then we go to the northeast side of the house. What this is where this is what you're gonna do. Um, here in my in in my in my place, what I have is a fountain. Okay. So this is a fountain. I show it to you guys. Okay. So this is a fountain. Now this is two part fountain. Okay. Meaning, um, there's this one part of the bowl. Okay. And then there's this part of the fountain. Now this is just one type of the fountain that we have that you can put in the northeast side of your home. When you do this, because we it comes with crystal, you can choose comes with crystal this doesn't have right now I wasn't able to get it from our store but you install it ideally okay you would install this during Thursday or Sunday before the Sun rises when I say before the Sun rises like 45 minutes if the Sun rises around 540 then between 5 o'clock to 540 a.m. when you start to put this uh, fountain in the Northeast now let the water run of course 24 7 so when you put it okay so the water is facing your house let's just say this is the wall so you put against the wall and then the water coming through okay this invites wealth towards your home financially now we're talking about finances right with the wealth part um, wealth also is connected okay to enjoying good fortune now we have like i think we have this one we have around 10 pieces i think of this one and then we have like five more kinds of fountain that comes with the crystal with it you can choose so you can start it either a thursday or a sunday but if you can do this on march 6 that's gonna be good because that's the full moon so that's one thing I would recommend. March 6th is coming. So right now, the time I'm recording this is the 23rd. I don't know if it's gonna 23rd right now when I'm recording this. I don't know if it's going to reach to you. But if you order now, of course, then I hope it's going to 26. Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still time. So that one. But I don't... Uh, you can also... I don't know if you can do this during the Venus one when it's exalted. But the full moon is good. But the full moon comes every 30 days. Right? We just finished the new moon on the 20th. So the full moon is when you start to manifest. Now anything new is also good during the new moon. But I work more with the full moon with regards to manifestation. With the new moon, I kind of go inwards for that one. Now you have to understand also that the northeast side of our home is Kuber, which is money itself. Now water is associated with cash flow so water is cash flow water is a source of life water is a source of nurturing this is moon is chandra basically okay now that's how i would work with the 
um, with the fountain over here. Now, I'll put everything in the description box below. We don't carry much of this because this one, it eats so much space in our warehouse. So whatever is there, that's it. And um, again, you can always go back to this and reference to this, uh, to this video when you get yours. So that way you can remember how to install it and how to put it and where to put it. Now, if you're asking me, has it saved me? I mean, like, meaning bringing fortune. I have it 24-7. I have it 24-7. I can tell you that, that this one works. So thank you very much to whoever has, uh, you know, posted a question and everyone who has a question um, to consult with me. You can always put it in the comments below and I, I would uh, be more than happy to assist you with anything about Mystic. I'll see you next time.